Hi friends, welcome back or welcome to my channel. If you're new, my name is Cynthia and I thank you for clicking on this video here today. So we're here in this other space to do the empties uh, for the month of December. But most honestly, you know, the last time I did an empties was like December 21st. I was looking at the date. So that's how I'm doing my empties. You know, when this thing gets full or how I want to do my empties, then I'll just do it, which it's been about two weeks. So this is two weeks of empties. You guys know we go through a lot of products here in my house I have a family of five three boys me and my husband and then sometimes my mom gives me some of her items which I don't have any of her items in here uh, in this empties but maybe next one I will ask her if she has a couple of things that she I know puts away so that I can show you guys let's get right into it um, I'm gonna try not to take long but somehow my empties are always a long one okay so this is my Patrick Ta she's so LA I never used, so there's two little uh, products in here. Hold okay, on. Okay, so I opened it. I never used this cream product right here. I know, like, I'm just going to get rid of it because you know what? I've tried using it. I don't care for it. I'm sure it's because I don't know how to use it. And I'm just going to leave it at that. But this one here, as you guys can see, I loved it. If I could just buy this powder by itself, um, I would. And when it comes to the creams, I think it's just I'm not really that good at using the creams. And that's what it is. But I love this one here. She's so LA. Um, and that is that one here. First empty. Now we have, this is like my second one. Guys. I was saying, guys, I think I can burn like one a month of these. This is how much I'm loving this candle vanilla balsam. It's just so, so good. Uh, we have several in the store, but I don't want to buy them at 50% off or $11.95. I want to wait until these are 75% off, even if it's next ass. But this is just a favorite, favorite of mine. I love this candle. It burns so well. I would say a eight of, you know... When it comes to burning it and projection is pretty good. I really like this candle. I love, love, love it. And there is a note to that one right here. Okay, and next we have this American Crew uh, gel. It's for men, but it doesn't matter because I use it as well. Ever since I got with my husband and I tried this one out, I just couldn't stop. I love the way it holds my hair back whenever I put my hair back in a ponytail. Um, I put this on and I love it. So there's that um we have this soap here blueberry crumble you guys know i love my blueberry scents i don't know what else to say about it but you know i would repurchase it i guess if it came back and then we have i really did like this one here tinsel uh pink tinsel petals i like the scent to it but of course i would prefer it still in a foaming I just do like I will try new soaps that come in gel form if they don't come in foaming but it's not my preference at all still to this day so uh let's see another soap we have oh yes cotton candy grape I love love this one I had to use it as soon as it came out I just had to like it's so so good I would repurchase this one um, I don't know. Uh, I don't think we have any more in the store left. I'm going to check, but I don't think we do. Okay, so then I used up this Saltwater Breeze Exfoliating Glow Body Scrub. I kind of use this like as a shower gel as well sometimes because it's really not exfoliating much. But if you don't like any rough exfoliants, then maybe this one would be one for you because I don't think it's rough at all. So there's that one and I don't know how much it exfoliates, but I still enjoy using them and I love that scent. So uh, then we have this Olay face cream. This is what I tell you guys my boys use. And of course, if I run out of mine, whatever I'm using, then I'll go ahead and use it as well. Okay, so I used, uh, look guys, I'm burning my nice uh, lid candles to all a good night. This one was a strong one. I really did enjoy this candle. This is more like clean. I did get a lot of um, the lavender in it. So I would say if you don't like lavender, you might not like this one. But I think this one is like kind of clean and relaxing. And I did enjoy it. I did burn at least mine uh, pretty good. I'm going to go ahead. I still have the lid somewhere. I know I saved it. It's not in here. But I do have the lid. I'm going to clean it out. And I know my mom repurposes these. So I'm going to go ahead and give that to her. I'm 
again, trying to change myself for this year and not trying to hold things for collection purposes, even with the nice lids. This is like the only one I bought for each of these and I'm still burning through them. Even the red one that I have in the Perfect Christmas, I'm going ahead and finishing that one off. And I'm just going to, what I'm going to do is now like take more pictures, make sure I put them on my Instagram because I cannot have a bigger collection i just am not allowing myself that anymore so <laughs> changes are coming for this year for myself under the christmas tree so this one is not too too strong this one is a medium i would say like fresh balsam is way stronger um what is the other one that the tree farm that one is stronger too this one is nice though like it has that nice that vanilla scent in here i think it's a little bit sweeter probably than the rest yes than the other two i do really enjoy this one and so there is that i I'm going to clean these out again and I'm going to give them to my mom. I don't know about repurposing them myself right now. Like I said, I don't want to hold on to too many things. I'm trying to let go of things this year. Um, so we have these little um, cotton. This is from Sephora. I use these cotton, organic cotton. It's not balls, but it was like those um, just, just organic cotton pads. So I really did enjoy them. I would repurchase them. Uh, I, I bought them during like the Sephora sale, but I think they're not that expensive. So I still would repurchase them to use them. So there is that. And then my favorite, one of my favorites. Thank you, Amber. If you're watching, you know it was you. And I, I say it every time. If you guys watch me, you already know um, how she was telling me this was being talked about. I think on Reddit. I don't know where else. I don't look at those. Um, I never get on Reddit, to be honest, completely honest. And so anyways, I think they were talking about how good this one was. And they were so right, even if I don't like it on cold, which in fact, I'm trying to like it on cold. I continue to smell it. This is so good. It's, I almost think it's better than my wild berry jam donut. I cannot believe I just said that because that candle has been my number one for the longest when it came to gourmands, wild berry jam donut. And then pistachio and vanilla came in and stole that um, number one spot. But yeah, this one is up there with those. And gourmands are my thing. If you guys don't know, I think gourmands are just my number one favorite candles to burn. And yeah, I'm just a gourmand lover. I love my sweets. So that's why let's go into this one then. Because this one is so good. So many people, I guess, that don't like it. Because at my store, we have so many of these hot pink cocoa. Oh, and this is so sweet, so chocolatey. You get the raspberry. This is strong. This line right here, um, the Murano line that came with all this calm collection, it is very, very good, very strong. I'm burning, I forgot the full name of it, the brioche. Not right now, I'm not burning it right now, but I have been burning through it and that one is so, so strong as well. So these candles, I mean, you know, if it's not a 10, it's gotta be like a eight or a nine, it's up there. It is very, very good. And if you like sweet scents like I do, if you like, you know, your chocolatey vanilla and throw in some fruit in there like the raspberries, you would love this one. But I know a lot of people don't. doesn't matter to me. I love it. And I will continue to... I want to get a crate of this one when it, it goes to 75% off. So we have, you guys already know, Pink Dove Bar Soap. I am a Dove girl. These bar soaps are just my favorite, honestly. Like, even just the shape of them is just my favorite. Like, we love Dove. And then here, I when it comes to Dove, as long as it's Dove, I can change up the scents and everything. My husband, even though he's tried others, like, he does not. Like, he's like, he goes back to his pink. He's like, just give me my pink Doves, uh, and that's all I need. And then you guys know Alex uh, has his eczema, so he only can use this one now. The doctor told him just use the Dove sensitive skin. So this this is the, the one he uses. And then since we get going into his eczema, this is the Cetaphil uh, moisturizing cream that the doctor prescribed for him. She told him to get the one. And then Melissa, thank you. Yeah, we got the jar. Uh, Melissa Foodie Mel on Instagram. She sent me for Alex. She sent uh candela candela cream yeah right candela cream which we just received and he hasn't used yet but i'm gonna make sure that he uses it it's a it's a big jar though so yeah um so then we have i got this cocoa limited edition 
a uh, hot cocoa. This one smells just like the hot cocoa from Bath and Body Works. Maybe a little bit lighter, you know, but it is really good. But it's not exfoliating much as well. I would say I used it up for the scent more than anything. But when it comes to like being a true body scrub, like my tree huts, those are like super exfoliating. And I feel like it makes your skin feel so soft. But these are not bad for like the daily if you like. And then it's a small one so you could travel with it if you want to make sure you exfoliate while you're traveling. And look at guys, my Tatcha. Uh, face cream this one was uh one that i bought with the bot not the body cream sorry i don't even know if they have a body cream they might but the face cream which i do love and i do want to repurchase i would repurchase this as well touch is very expensive so currently i'm using up other little creams that i have and even face washes but i would repurchase that one and then we have this cinnamon pumpkin pie this one I didn't know, and I don't see it here, but it feels like it has little exfoliating particles when you use it, uh, the bar soap, actually. So I do love the scent. I don't know that I really want exfoliating particles on my bar soap, only because I definitely do these other steps with my, like I use my bar soap, I use my body washes and my scrubs, so I don't need that step in my bar soap, but of course I'll use up whatever I have. Then we have, we use a lot of these, and I just put basically a couple in here. These are bum wipes. I'm just going to call them bum wipes. So yeah, I have, I guess, two in here. I don't think more will come out. I don't know that I put more in here. And then these are face wipes. I use them just to take off my makeup really quickly, like the first layer, I would say. Yeah, layer. <laughs> When you put on a lot of makeup, yeah, you need to take off that first layer and then continuously go in with something else, which I do. Like I go in with my uh, soaps and oils and all that. So we have this Gillette deodorant that my boys use. You guys already know this is the brand they use. There's been times I use it too. Yeah. It works well. <laughs> so melatonin, we use this to sleep here in this house. I love this stuff. Um, if you haven't been around, yeah, I use this because after when COVID happened, I was having a hard time sleeping. And ever since, like, this is just a must for me. I love it. So I put this champagne, apple, and honey. I love this scent. You know, our car fragrance refills are not that strong. Like, I honestly probably have to change it already. And it's been, like, probably two weeks. So, yeah, but I do love this scent. Okay, I ended up loving this candle, guys. Snowflakes and cashmere. Uh, I don't know. I just loved it in my room. I didn't really try it in the living room, so I don't want to say like how it would be in the living room. I would say whatever room you put it in, you will be able to smell it. It would be like medium burn, like high medium, not like super strong, just basically for me, perfect for the bedroom. I would definitely buy another one. In fact, I want another one. So yeah, we have vanilla cashmere cream. Oh, the caramel woods. You can smell the sweet. That's because I love sweets. You see, you could smell the caramel out of this one. And then it says frosted clementine. Um, I don't know how much clementine I really got from it. Hold on. Oh, I feel like I got more of the uh, vanilla and the caramel woods out of this candle. And it is so relaxing, so good in my opinion. Now, this is the oral rinse that we use here. You guys will see this just about monthly, uh, every two weeks or whatever it is. But yeah, that's the one we use. And then I went ahead and used up. This is okay. Like, I don't want to overpay for detergent. Uh, but yeah, I did use this one as the sample that we had. We got it a while back, but I did use it. I think it was for Austin's clothes. It was good. I mean, I would use it, but I don't want to pay too much. And then we have, I finally used up one of my deodorants. And yes, I use deodorant every single day. No, I'm not smelly, <laughs> but I don't go through them like one, one a month. And maybe it's because sometimes I go into these uh, my boys deodorants, but yeah, this one is really good. I love Dove uh, Dove should just sponsor me because I do love their products. But anyways, yeah, that's the one I used up And then you guys know we use this aqua fresh uh, Toothpaste the cavity protection one right here And as you guys can see we have more hand soaps winterberry ice. I do really like this Scent it is so good. Yeah, i'm really into cherries though guys I'm really into cherries. I love it. And so we have balsam and bergamot. This was another good.
good one. I love the packaging to this. I love this packaging that we have. We have like all these different colors. I really, really do enjoy this packaging. And then we have Cocktail Garden. I really like the way this one smells out of the bottle more so, I would say, than on my hands. I don't know how to describe it. But, um, yeah, I guess I would get it, but I'm not overly in love with it as I was when I first smelled this one and it was like, I have to have it. I think I bought two. I still have the other one. I'll use it up, but it didn't turn out to be my, my favorite on my hands. Um, I can't remember exactly why guys, I'm sorry, but I just, you know, it's not my favorite on my hands. Oil free acne wash. Alex, when we went to his dermatologist, we go often. Um, they had some free ones of these and then so he grabbed this one. Um, yeah, and he liked it. But now he's using the Cetaphil one for his face that I bought for him. Oh, this is not an empties. Look at how, I don't know how that fell in here, but this is my Versace. Oh. Um, my Versace uh, Dylan Turquoise little travel size. So we'll just put that over there. And then we have one empty Winter Berry Ice. When it comes to the single wicks, I would just um, say I burn most of them in my bathroom because that's where I could smell it the, the most in our hallway bathroom. Um, there are very few that are super strong that I would say you could put them in the living room or another bigger room where you could truly smell them. But other than that, that's where I like to burn these. And yeah, that's where I burn this one. I'm trying to burn more single wicks this next month. You're going to see at least four, I would say, or more. And uh, yeah, but I'm bringing them out to the living room and just adding them, like adding a scent to whatever else I am burning. And let's see, this one's not my favorite either. It wasn't strong enough, I think, for me. I don't know. I didn't really enjoy it. Strawberry Snowflakes. I like the packaging that this one came in, that pink one, um, that it came with with this year but i did not i don't like the candle itself like i burned through this one and i remember i think i got this one for 75 percent off at last sass but it is not uh, one that i will continuously buy because I don't, I don't enjoy it i mean maybe because of the packaging i'll buy the 75 percent off in next sass for that other one but yeah feliz navidad i really did enjoy this one this one was a medium burner i have a um a review on this one so i would say check that out if you really want to hear about the champurrado candle and no i don't make champurrado but i've had it many times in fact after burning this candle i decided to go get some and it did remind me of it i know a lot of people will say different like it doesn't remind you of it like how your parent made it or whoever or yourself but you know it is what it is it reminded me of it <laughs> so so there's that and then the perfect christmas you guys know i love this one this is a candle i burn uh during christmas time on christmas day this is nostalgic to me to christmas and of course you know i love all the pine type of candles and uh, you throw in some like sweet marshmallow in there and of course i'm gonna love it even more so this is a favorite of mine and i again i'm burning through the red one that came out this year because i am doing my best to burn through even like the nice packaging ones so this one strawberry melon is a good this one's a good one it's not a super strong candle that i'm gonna say you know it's gonna fill out a whole living room and you know project and all that but when it comes to burning it in a room, like even my room, the boys' rooms, like I did move this one around a little bit. This one is good. It reminds me of some kind of like Jolly Rancher candy. Not too soup, like not super sweet Jolly Rancher, like strawberry melon. I don't know if that's a flavor, but it just reminds me of something like that, like candy like, but not super duper sweet. And there are the notes right there, but this one is a really good one. And I would repurchase or get it with the rewards again. So we have Winter White Woods. I did enjoy this one as well. This is a, a, about an eight, I would say, in throw um, projection. I burned it mostly in my room. It did come out to the hallway a little bit. So that's all I could say about that. Glistening icicles, dried cedarwood bark, and spiced sandalwood. Um, it reminded me of just like something woodsy and something almost tree-like as well. 
so there is that one i would repurchase that one as well okay so we have bergamot and birch this one it's a medium burner it's not super strong i had issues with the burn and that wick kept like turning off and i was just done with it once it kept doing that so i just let it go because i'm like i'm done with you you are struggling and i do not want to mess around with you anymore so that is this one <laughs> yeah it's basically a woodsy a little bit just a tiny bit of the citrus with the bergamot but not like super strong on the citrus um yeah it was it was good but the burn right there yeah not messing with it uh we have another dove sensitive skin trust me when i tell you that we go through so much dove they're not all even in here because they throw them in the trash and that is that but we go through so many bar soaps um it's embarrassing <laughs> so we have a warm amber and cedar this one is a good one as well and yeah so we used up that soap in the last in the last two weeks let's see how many soaps did we use two four six and that's just two weeks and i said six but it's seven with that one i just you know anyways so we have another aqua fresh here a toothpaste and then this was one this was one of my little travel ones i used when i came back i decided to like use it up because when i travel again i'd rather just buy a new one i want to make sure i have enough <laughs> so there is that it's secret the ph balance i should get my dove ones in a mini but anyways we have more of the deodorants that my boys use again we just use this brand and then we just change up the scent i don't think they even care what scent i just grab different scents for them and that is it that is that and then this is a not a, a i was gonna say a fake beauty blender i didn't wash it because i was gonna throw it out anyways uh this is from what's that other brand i don't know why i'm forgetting the brand but i know they sell these at ulta basically and it is like a dupe of the beauty blender so there's that one look i used up this little uh versace and this is the dylan purple and this is very fruity i really like this one so i'm trying to use up a lot of the ones that don't have a little sprayer i don't like them like i don't this one came with the big bottle basically so i was like i don't mind but usually i don't like getting these like this because i like to spray myself i don't even like the roll-on uh little perfumes so travel perfumes so let's see what wallflowers do i have country apple i know i just put this one in aiden's room i do love country apple and then we have one pocket bag guys cozy cashmere and yes i'm still using i have a lot of the moisturizing uh like the pumps of sanitizers so those take a long time to get through and this is just like one of the ones i used up in my purse and let's see what else calypso clementine i put this in the bathroom i could smell it a lot the first day and then you know how a lot of our wallflowers go i can't tell right now so <laughs> there's this one but i do love the scent like when i get close to it and i really actually smell it out of the wallflower i do love this scent so there's that one and then we have blueberry bellini i put this one in alex's room i definitely can smell it i'd have to continue to go into his room to see but that's where i decided to try this one out the blueberry bellini and then we have forever red this is not i put it in my computer room so far it is not super strong but you can smell it i do enjoy it um i still love the i, I wish that we had a perfume but the fine fragrance missed even more i still love that more so the last one i literally just put this in the living room like just now before the video and it's empty at the bottom usually like it's me replacing something but it's because i didn't have anything in the living room like i've been burning candles and so i just didn't have anything here and a lot of times what i'll do is i'll unplug some of these wallflowers to like try out a candle and things like that uh so for the longest i had just left no uh wallflower here in the living room because i've been trying different candles but i'm loving this scent a lot i don't know i just plugged this one in so again i can't tell you but almond croissant it is the type of scent that i love and that is all that i have what do you guys think not too much a lot i mean for two weeks i think it's a lot and i'm trying to get through a lot of candles so i'm literally burning and trying not to buy as much as well when it comes to the candles and even body care too but until the next one my friends i love you guys so so much thank you for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys